Shalom everyone. Welcome back to another predestined, predestined kingdom ministry or ministries international videos. I am Kenethia J or Kenethia Johnson. Welcome back. Oh, thank you for joining. Welcome as you come in. It is time to make that move okay it is time to make that move so i put out two videos on youtube dissolve abandonment negative cycles where people just keep leaving you i have to make another one but my mom came in the house trying to stop me again so when the lord be saying that he be trying to expose somebody that their mom is in the way it could be like it's a reason why he has me say what i'm saying on these videos that's how it was for me and how i came somebody went through what i went through and had balls enough to do what i'm doing and so it helped me out okay so just a few things before i get into the lesson that i saw okay be careful of the false prophets be warned that god has exposed them recently he's exposing false prophetess false prophets whatever have you not people who are in leadership or governing in his authority who won't listen to him they tell him no and do stuff the way that they want to do it okay and god continues until whenever he stops them but he at least he's exposing them to us so we have the options to say no or yes to their teachings to anything that they want to do everybody isn't exposed but god will expose them and it's our choice to say no okay and so be careful um prophet is trying to come in attacking talking about she do a job resume or whatever here's the thing if god says they're contending for a wedding that's the order that we're gonna go in what god says that's been your rebuke for over a year now stop dictating what people do and the order that is done in that's his job especially if it's good everything good comes from above you don't tell God, no, I don't care that you made her pregnant. I'm a midwife. I could control time. She has to get a job before she gets married. That's why I'm allowed to pray for your death because God sees you as a false prophet. You don't tell him what happens, but he tells us what happens. And when you fight him, we're allowed to protect ourselves and take and go after what he said. No, we don't have to explain ourselves, but this is for somebody. So that way they don't get tricked out of their manifestations and blessings. Every day you wake up prophetess and disobedience, doing the opposite of what God said versus what you want to happen so you can save face. It's time for some of us to just contend for this wedding that this man manifests and that God kill you for continuously stopping, delaying, or blocking manifestations that he already released. You know what I'm saying? No, he keeps saying this to the same woman from BFO and my. Stop falsely using his powers to stop Kenithia from getting married, to tell her to go get a job. Stop. That's false. He never said that. That's what you're saying. And every time he manifests, you keep saying the same thing. That's me. That's me. Stop. It's disobedience. It's confusion. And you causing financial hardships. And then don't want to pay for it. You're either going to follow God or, or be a wicked, disobedient prophetess and let him treat you and everybody else treat you like how you act. You don't tell people no. Don't get no. You know. God said yes. The beginning of the end. 
Mark 13, verse 7. And when ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars, be ye not troubled, for such things must needs be. But the end shall not be yet. Jesus, I'm sorry, Jesus' disciples came to him as he sat upon the Mount of Olives. They wanted to know the sign of his coming and of the end of the world. Notice Jesus did not give them a specific time frame, as no man knows the day or the hour when the Lord should return. So how you know, you understand what I'm saying? You you voicefully telling this lady, back off. You should have been let Tatum go. I don't, you messed up with that one. And then she just keep going though. And she saw what, Mo, you saw what Al Flukow was doing to me. And you just sat back and did the same thing and thought God wasn't going to punish you worse. Not even Jesus himself. Instead, Jesus warned them about being deceived by false prophets and antichrists that come saying that they are Christ. Like the disciples, we too must heed the teachings of Jesus so that no one can deceive us. Jesus spoke of the beginning of sorrow. We hear of wars in the news all the time between nation boards. But more recently, America became involved in war. There are also threats of war. We hear of Jews against Christians, the Crips against blood, the East side against the West side. We hear of so much turmoil and commotion. One may ask, where's the peace? Jesus also foretells of other conditions that will be in the world before the end. Famine is a drastic shortage in food. Pestilence are contagious diseases or plagues spreading all over the land. One example, that you may be familiar with is AIDS, okay? Earthquakes are vibrations. AIDS is something he want us to talk about. A, I'm sorry, earthquakes are vibrations in the crust of the earth that are strong enough to destroy buildings, highways, bridges, or anything supported by the ground. Earthquakes are also common in the news, not only in California, where they are ex where they are accepted but also in various unexpected places although i saw a lot although these words are i'm sorry although these words of jesus were spoken thousands of years ago today we can see signs that these are the last days most importantly in our lesson text jesus left encouragement for his people Jesus said that we should not be troubled nor afraid when these things come. We must trust in God knowing that he is with us and will take care of us. This is only the beginning of the end. There is more to come. Matthew 24 verse 14. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all of the world for witnesses unto all nations and then shall come the end and then the end shall come okay so when this word is preached for all witnesses unto all nations and everybody has a choice to say yes or no that's when he's gonna make his choice he's a fair god if he separated us and our tongues and our languages we gotta trust that this world is small enough for him to do this. God built, God allowed the people to come together. They tried to build a whole tower of Babel and go against them and do what they want to do. And he separated every, that's why we have Chinese. That's why we got us over here, Americans. That's why we got the Germany people. We got the people in Japan. We like, you know, that's why. Because God knows that man is disobedient. And so he doesn't give us that much power for us to be in leadership and tell him no and mistreat people and bully them. It's judgment for false prophets, church bullies, manifestation blockages. You don't tell God it should go this way but when he says it can go that way, we just adjust and say yes to somebody receiving prosperity, peace, blessings.
And when you fight, that's what God is saying. Yes, we can pray for y'all to die at this point. We pray for vengeance. We pray that you stop. We pray for peace. And God is saying suddenly, this is the season of suddenly. 